Welcome back everyone, let's play Rule Waves 3 as Germany episode number 48. Loading back in, it's been pretty much a whole week since the last episode, which, you know, was a special one, wasn't it? Anyway, I, we're still blockading both Britain and France. Now, I, I, yeah, I'm, it's probably well known, common knowledge at this point, I haven't read all the way through the Rule of Waves 3 manual. I'm not sure how a blockade works. I, um, I, actually, I may have even scanned the manual at the, on this point at some point, or maybe it's the Roller Waves 2 one, I'm getting them all mixed up, but I don't know if even allies add their bonuses together for a blockade, or if it's taken independently. If it is not taken independently and allies are supposed to be added together, then this is... I mean, I don't know what's going on. How, what did they move it? They just moved everyone out. It's all they only have, even together. I guess the allies do add together probably and they're only at like 180. Where, where, where did they go? Why did they go there? Well, no, we're not here, not there. Okay, they're all in the Mediterranean. There's definitely a big German threat in the Mediterranean, right? No territory, no fleet. I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to allow that to happen. Gives us a blockade. Um, somebody was commenting, try to, I think it was Galstrief, uh, try to win the war. Yeah, I mean, of course, naturally, we're, we're not going to try to lose it. But I still think that an early peace is the only, is the only victory condition because the blockade, assuming they come back, I just don't know how we can overcome that. It will be very difficult. Trying to figure out where we lost it. South Pacific. Aha! Uh -huh. So there was <laughs> there was a reason. Oh boy. Okay, now um, several people have been mentioning about the division editor and po pointing out that this is probably very important for the battle generator. And look, if you got to bow to the auto generator, battle generator gods, I should say. Oh, and that's one thing I wanted to note as well. I actually have begun. I mean, this this is the great news about the last episode is, you know, it left me kind of uh, bitter about the some of the things in the game, but that was inspiration. Like why I mean, I don't any anybody can just, you know, I, I mean, in, complain about something to be, to put it frankly. Um, but, you know, I mean, a lot of times that's really all you have the power to do is complain about it. I mean, you can go complain about people complaining even. But I, yeah, I, I started to work on a battle, auto battle resolve thing because I think that that will solve some of my problems. I think the game will be a lot more playable. If I just build that thing, it will be fun. And, uh, you know, if other people benefit from it as well, so much the better. In the meantime, how do we want to set up our divisions? Well, let's have these slow guys who are, where are they? Northeast Asia. They really are going to be like, I guess they'll be core? Because they are the, the capital ships out there, so I'll set them as core. They're probably supposed to be, I'm, I'm like, I don't exactly know how the roles are supposed to work. Should I be setting that to core if they're, I mean. <clears throat> okay, let's set these guys to core to follow them. The division is four cruiser division. Very good. Uh, now let's actually get some of these guys uh, attached to different people. Gregor Muckenbergers, I need to see these guys to remember. Yeah, no, I think the showies are better than those guys. Seven, six inch guns, they are. Even though these were, as I remember, a little bit inefficient. So let's get the showies to do their, their job, basically. Um, we'll just take this division by division. We can close up these old ones. Those guys are taken care of now. Okay, so let's get you to set your role as support for first battle division. 
you guys are going to be support for a second. I think that's actually in the wrong order, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. They're all going to get one, so it doesn't really matter. And you will be not third is fourth, sixth. You'll go to sixth. So I, I, I do one day want to you know make a better game with a better interface than this, and I oh, that's why I keep questioning what is the best way of doing this. This doesn't feel like the optimal way, um, but uh, like a tree system maybe. I think I don't know exactly. I, did, I guess you have to whiteboard it. <laughs> All right, we have. One, two, and six with people. Um, you guys do go 28. That is the same. Yeah, it is fast enough that we could put one with the battle cruisers as well. Yeah, let's do that. And then what we're going to need next is some. Um, Destroyer divisions. Hans Vapor. I don't know who our destroyer. I, I'm not very familiar with our destroyer classes. Yeah, these guys are not the greatest. I mean, who's <laughs> who all is in division here? Yeah, only the Hans Vapors. So let's change that up. We got some good destroyers. Let's get these guys into some divisions. Um, I think what I'm going to do, I, I, I'm loath to do this, but I, let's see, we don't have any, what ships do we have under construction? So let's save one battle cruiser division. I don't even think we have a battle cruiser division. And then we're just looking at destroyers. So they go back to divisions. And I guess we just got to cancel a whole bunch of these guys. Let's dissolve this division. Let's dissolve this division. I'm just trying to clear up a few of the the admirals, the rear admirals or whatever, who would be dis uh, in charge of these divisions. So now we have to open up a whole bunch of destroyer divisions. OK, that's fine. Let's do it. How many do we have? We have nine. We'll go with 4-4 four, four and just leave one guy out. I still think I like 4 for divisions. Wait a second, we have we can't do it this way, can we? Okay, that button doesn't work. No, that's just select division and it has no division, so of course it doesn't work. Got it. And we can't do it this way either. Okay, so we just got to go into divisions. That's fine. Just working this all out. Division, destroyer, sure, call you whatever you want to be called. Add ships. Yeah, we'll just do it this way, it's fine. Okay, new division, destroyer, add ships. Get these guys. Done. All right, so let's get them. They're pretty good, I think. We'll get a commanding officer eventually, I hope. I don't have to sign that right. I assume that they can. the game can handle that for me. <clears throat> All right, so add more ships. We may just make this, this might be an entire episode of just signing divisions. Four or five, I mean, maybe five would be easier, but uh, I, I like, I, I personally like them better in groups of four, so. I'd rather have more groups of four. Despite the fact that that means I have more divisions I have to micromanage. Ah, I didn't really think about that, did I? Yeah, that is a downside. Anyway, once we have enough of these, uh, once I think we have enough of these, we'll just stop. Um, all right, let's start getting you. Now, technically, I don't need to support the battle divisions or even the battle cruisers since the cruisers are going to be taking care of that. 
So all I need to do is support the light cruisers. And that's what we'll do. So we have first, second, third, and fourth light cruisers. So your role is going to be support first light cruiser division. Your role is going to be support second light cruiser division. Your role is going to be to support third. I think it's kind of obvious where we're going here. I wonder if there's an auto generate that allows you to set up division formations without doing this because I mean look at I'm looking over at the, the clock we're already 10 minutes in this video just looking at this division stuff my time is finite so that's why I you know get a little there, there's got I'm just it's a it's a nice challenge nice problem to think about there's got to be a way to do this better and if there is then what is it Okay, so, so far I think I've covered all my major ones. One, two, three, four, all covered. They all have one destroyer. We need to get the light, I mean the carriers. Yes, you name it. And it's not really a carrier division, but it's a light carrier division, it's good enough. These guys need escorts as well. I think that we don't need to waste anything on them other than destroyers. So let's just slap on one of these. Uh, I mean, these guys are very slow, right? Let's just slap on one of these guys. This is the old Hans Weber's. That's fine. Set your role to support the carriers. There it is. Wait, I saw it. There it is. <clears throat> okay, well, look, we have some basic battle formation set up. Um, I'd be hard pressed to spend more time in the division editor for the moment, so let's move on. Oh yeah, that's that's that problem. You know, we still have that problem. Well, if we go over to area, I'm pretty sure that we're over in Northeast Asia. It's definitely the case. So let's find people in Northeast Asia. I don't really want to move any of my armored cruisers out. There's probably somebody else I can move out of Northeast Asia. I don't want to believe it's true. That's why I keep looking. I don't want to believe it's true, but it does appear that we only have <laughs> these things over there. So, okay. Not great. Not my, um, not my favorite move, but we can for now just get, was it South Pacific? One of these guys over to the South Pacific. Yep. All right, we'll just move one of those over. Good enough. Um, in the meantime, I will set one of the other ones on foreign station. And we'll just keep an eye on him. And the turn, okay, fleet battles. It's not that we have, this is by the way, a location where I would accept. So by the way, um, going back to, oh my gosh, they declined. Okay, well, we'll take it. Light forces, look at this is close enough to my area that I'm willing to accept this. And look at, they have their full force back now. <clears throat> um, wow, that's a lot of minefields. It was close enough that we could actually do something, right? <clears throat> okay, this will definitely be a light battle. Jeez. They weren't kidding. Uh, good thing is, I think we can just turn tail and run as soon as we get into contact with anything. I didn't see. Are we blockading again? So, squad max, get the hell out of here. And this is one of my destroyer divisions that's supposed to be defending other people. I guess we can go ahead and launch some torpedoes at these guys. I mean, just for fun. We could get lucky, right? <laughs> That's a, that is not a 
cruiser, I'm afraid to say. Okay, well, let's... Take that low shot. Um, yeah, I'll take that one as well. Okay, good enough. <clears throat> we might get lucky. It's looking okay. I think it's looking good. It's unlikely from the very get-go, so that's that was always the starting point here. But hey, maybe. Maybe. They are destroyers, so it's going to be hard to hit them. Oh my god. Ah! Wow, that was very close. <laughs> oh, someone sent a long, a long range one. By the way, what kind of guns are they operating with? 34 knots, two 5 inch guns. Well, yeah, that's, that's, that's something, isn't it? <clears throat> Once we're out of their sight, maybe uh, we can lose them. Oh yeah, oh, this is good. <clears throat> so we just do our, just move our merry way over here. Zoom. I just want to verify our guns are just two three-inch guns, right? Oh my gosh, we have two five-inch guns. Hmm. It would be nice. It'd be nice. Uh, a, a wonderful dream to dream to have destroyers which could actually uh, surface fight. But honestly, it's just it's not making them quite the right role. I think they 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 really do perform better with just torpedoes. Yeah, you know what? I'm I was gonna wait around because I don't know what else they'll attack. But you know what? Just forget it. Let them hit a mine going home for all I care. Or look at this submarine. Well positioned submarine, ready to go. It is quite a few mines. Uh, apparently we had a light cruiser somewhere. Had I known that, I think it was just a patrolling one or something that we couldn't control. That would have been, uh, well, not at night time, but during the day it would have been nice to bring that one in. Anyway, end of the battle. I don't know how, oh, we got transport ships, that's right. So cargo vessels survive and we get victory points for it. I'll take it. I probably didn't even, so, so I apologize about that one. I didn't relocate the battle screen. We did blockade them a second time, my goodness. Oh wow, okay, improved double gun mounts. Double gun mounts on light cruisers and tertiary guns and double mounts. All right, our new, I love this, this is a great picture. <laughs> our new uh, Naval Patrol Air, yeah, Naval Patrol Aircraft is ready to go. And they've also developed a Naval Patrol Aircraft as a private venture. How ambitious of them. Same company is competing with itself. Just don't see that kind of things these days and you know, that's what makes this country worse. We need more of that. Country, com companies competing with themselves. All right, <clears throat> apparently I have two of these guys and that bottom one is just, oh, what, this is awful. No, I mean, toughness, sure, but nothing else about it is not gonna make the, the grade. We um, damaged a heavy cruiser. They are sinking our, ugh, they're sinking our everything. We're sinking them, they're sinking us. <laughs> There's mines everywhere. <laughs> okay, we're we're now blockaded, which is the way that, I mean this is if the war goes this way, which is you know honestly the way it probably should, the AI manages its forces correctly, that's not a winnable situation for us. We're already at a must level six. I mean we're gonna ride this. We have no choice, but I mean I'm not and I'm not trying to, to reach the end of this series, although <laughs> maybe that would be a good idea. Already I need to take a break from the game, right? Um, come back with a more positive outlook. 
Destroyer raid up here. 560 points. We are so close that I have to accept. I'd prefer not to engage this, but if it's a destroyer one, the only, the real downside is, yeah, that we're gonna have to sink two ships. That's okay though. Um, I'd like to first change this to start with destroyers under um, AI control. I think I'll go back to that. I don't know why. I don't know why that was turned off, but you know, in this particular situation, I actually don't want that. I'm gonna let them cruise in. Whoops, all under, oh, and let me change the window for once. So what do we got? What's the daytime, nighttime? It's, wow, it must be before noon. It is 10 o'clock. Sink two ships. I mean, I guess we just go in knowing full well this is probably a bad idea. What dis what light cruisers did we bring? The showies. Okay, well, they have a speed of 28. So it's possible for us to get out of here if we need to. Not necessarily likely, but we do have the destroyers. And we should also check what kind of destroyers we got. Yeah, okay, we're good. We got the Cotties. I need to put other... I, I, apparently, I do really do need to put other destroyers into, um, into the divisions. Because they're only picking up for these battles, people in divisions. And I put them in divisions for fleet battles. But it looks like we're going to need some, some destroyers just lying about for these other battles. And then maybe they uh, won't pick on the fleet, the fleet support divisions. Anyway, we're just going to cruise in this direction all the way. Hopefully we find something before we hit the coast. We need to find two such things. Sink them and be gone. We're going right into the... Right into the... Um, what is it called? The Air Force. Going right towards an air base, which I don't like. Gonna squad max these guys, get them up out of this formation, go to line ahead. Gonna leave the cruiser and the destroyer. Okay, this is actually something. Something, well, okay, this is uh, where you, you know, this is what we, yeah. Squad max and prepare to beat a hasty retreat. Okay, this is just destroyers, so we're okay for the moment. We would like to stay on the east side of them, though. Downwind. Even though coal burning, I'm not sure if any of these guys are coal burning, if that's really an important thing. Okay, let's see what we got here. This is the Fox. She has five, six inch guns. I think we can take her. Low armor. She's fast. 1911. Our showies should be able to take her, though. Not our destroyers, though, so we'll have to watch out for that. Probably just waiting for our destroyers to, I mean, our cruisers to get up to speed. Um, we could put it, we could do a feint here. Pull back as if we're really, oh my god, that was, that was a single space bar. That was not supposed to be that many <laughs> minutes of time. But this is, oh god, what do we got here? I mean, this is the two ships we need to sink, assuming that these destroyers are over the tonnage requirement. Think our destroyers, I mean our cruisers are up to the speed, so let's oops, get these guys up to that speed as well. It's actually one more, isn't it? Indeed. So we are firing. Well, let's go down to normal as well. I guess what I can do is have this group a four, this group of four. Okay, so we have two groups of four. Have somebody peel off, go squad max, and let's just find out what those guys are. In the meantime, well, what was this again? Yeah, these are destroyers, and they are 1,500. Okay, good. All right, we got, we got some hits. Hooray. These guys have the two five inch guns. All right, not bad. All right, these guys only have two three inch guns. So that's perfect. They'll stay with the light cruisers and the bigger guns guys are gonna go off by themselves. That makes sense. Still wondering what these guys are. That's why I'm chasing them. 
I would like to find out. I'm going to dive nose in for a second just because I fear torpedoes. We're going to keep doing these changes of, of direction so we aren't caught by such a thing. Yeah, these are supposedly Corvettes, which means they're probably actually destroyers, but I will, I'll pick a fight with anything. We just need to sink two items and get out of here. I'll even give up the wind advantage just to get into the fight. Yeah, we're starting to identify these as real destroyers. Three five-inch guns. Well, that's not a fight I can win. Well, not statistically. Maybe get lucky. Okay, they're doing something. This is... I don't know what this is, but this is something. <laughs> Probably what many people would call a, an attack. They're making an attack run. Oh, that is good. That is very good. And the Afridi, is she... Yeah, 1,500 tons. It's a fair amount of maneuvering we've done. I'm not sure if we can possibly avoid some torpedoes doing what we've done. This guy up to 29. I know they're only 3-inch guns, but they're still something. They're probably going to be needed at this point. Alright, let's swing back heavily. Avoid torpedoes. Now that their action is done. So if they were aiming where we were going, we're going somewhere else now. That's the the whole idea. Kind of have them in a pincer here too. We're taking a few shots. Okay. Cody's just getting dominated, unfortunately. All right, finally landed some counter fire. Supposedly heavy damage, I don't know how much I believe that. But it is nice that we're here. I don't necessarily think it's a good idea for us to launch torpedoes. I'm gonna think about this very carefully, but if we were to, it doesn't look like that has a great chance of impacting our light cruisers. Actually, it might be exactly the line to, <laughs> to impact them, but all right, we've got lined it up a few shots here. That's good to see. The more damage we put in them, you know, I like the one thing I like about this game a lot. Okay, one of the many. One of the many things is I do like that ships fight worse as they take damage, as you would expect them to. And I mean, in a lot of cases, at least. Not in every case, but in, in a lot of cases, this is true. Just fight them. Oh, it looks like the stars come to a stop. That's either a generator, and we'll we'll take full advantage here. We're going back in, and this could be our two. Just keep them cut off, and we could also definitely get out of here. We definitely would love to get out of here asap. The star is moving again, but she's going to get blasted going super slow. Let's just avoid the torpedoes, the inevitable. Do a little zigzaggy. Throw them off. We just need to get one more now. You guys are gonna launch torpedoes. Just gonna get, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Well, not, not improbable. Not likely, perhaps, but not improbable. We did stick around. I mean, I wasn't zigzagging these guys. I was not expecting to get hit by a torpedo. That guy's on fire. I think we're just going to take this as a loss. Take one of those. Because we're really more interested in sinking the two and getting out of here. I think that'll give them a victory still, but... We're still landing hits. Oh, that's on the star. Yeah, get over here in a hurry. That is going to do it for her. Oh, it looks like DD6 fell out of line. Well, that makes sense. She has probably zero chance of survival. 
She has a chance of survival, believe it or not. That's funny. Let's get her going four then. I think four, they'll still do all the repairs they need to. If not, we'll just go and pick up survivors. Oops. Got that damage control. They can make one knot. <laughs> what does that mean? They're paddling? <laughs> they got the oars out. Okay. Wow, that was not... Not too surprising result after getting hit by a torpedo. Yeah, that turn though, that's helpful. Keep making those turns. Where will you go now? Yeah, I think they're just going after the light cruisers. This guy's gotta be a goner, man. 1,300 tons. Oh my goodness, yeah. Well, we're just gonna make sure that we focus fire on the other ship at this point. I said we're gonna make sure we focus on the other ship at this point. There we go. That should be the last of them. And now we're going to just slow on down to 25 knots. Prepare to cruise on out of here. The victors. I, again, don't know that's true because we're going to have to wait to see how many transports they had and how many we left alive. But that's a good, this is a good showing. Killing three destroyers, losing one. That is just, what were you thinking? Very ambitious. So it's, in theory, it's possible for us to run amok here and just sink some more transports. What I could probably do is get you guys on the case there. I'll send the light cruiser home because they've they've already done their job. Any future contact is going to be something we're going to want to retreat from. You know what? I will actually send both my destroyers back. They both only have three destroyer. I mean three, yeah. So you're going to head home, and then we're going to patrol both south, north, and south. So um, let's have you guys stop firing for ten minutes, which I assume will be enough time to get out of range. Same thing for you. Don't fire for 10 minutes. Get out of range. So, enemy aircraft is, okay, there they are. They have done, uh, oh, they're literally airships. Okay, then I guess we can out <laughs> run them. <laughs> Wait, these are our? Naval airships? Enemy Z. Did they just hit, did they just bomb their own target? I imagine that destroyers would be very, very, very difficult to hit from an airship. <laughs> it's hard to hit that from a fighter <laughs> or a bomber, you know? Uh, not impossible, I guess, but it's very difficult. It's just cool that they're that we're, they're doing that, I guess. Well, anyways, my light cruiser made it out. That was the important thing on that. It's the run for hours thing. I just keep accidentally picking it. You also do expect that at this point they're now. I was going to say their transports have gotten out of the way, but you know, judging based on my own transports, they don't really do anything. They don't really react. Yeah, so here's a good case. Let's go up to 25. Oh, we're already at 25. Well, let's race them. We need to race into range to identify them because transports, before they're identified, do move at Mach 5. My 
you know, they don't they don't care whether the laws of reality apply. I mean, the laws of even this video game reality don't apply. Until you identify it, it can move as fast as it wants. But we identified this one pretty quickly, which is nice. <clears throat> so let's go in and get it. Um, that's going to prevent them from having more surviving ones. Good old Destroyer Division 5 getting attacked by more aircraft. You know, there's a possibility here that we could actually cause some of their aircraft to crash because they're trying to bomb us and then they can't land. <clears throat> Anyways, I guess this guy has already... Oh, nope. I was going to say has gone down, but apparently not. So we just suddenly opened up on them. Is this a really a light cruiser? I don't think so. Well, it is an official strategic ship. I think that we're done after this. Come on. What is going on? I cannot. There. Can't turn this way. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why, why, can't, why can't I select their flag? <laughs> These guys, they're the ones with the five inch. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, let's bring this guy down. Um, yeah, I guess so. I don't know why I said yes to that, but I did. So there it is. This Corvette can haul too. I guess they aren't made the same way mine are, which are just like nothing. <laughs> No engines whatsoever. Engines are expensive. Oh, we'll wait though. We'll still try to bring this guy down. I'll close. Four inch guns. I mean, he's not. In theory, this guy's all right. You know, he stands a chance against us. Oh, we're still going. Wait, what happened? Let's read that log back. Sorry, sir, can you say that again? High speed cruising, we damaged them. Um, God, I hope that's not real damage. Just go down to cruise. You guys go down to 20 so that your division mate can catch up. And this is where my focus has to lie until we get a few more hits. Are you kidding me? They killed the Cotty? <laughs> Probably just knocked out. Electric. Engines disabled. Oh man, we don't have very good luck here. If I didn't, if I had a, uh, if I didn't have bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. All right, Cotty's machinery is repaired. Let's give her all, make all speed you can. <clears throat> I said all speed you can. No. Can you not? It says machinery repaired. That just fancy words for nothing. I'm gonna run out of ammunition before we sink this guy too. It's funny. I'll have to call back in the three inch guns. Damn it. Do they have armor? I didn't check. They do. They have good armor. Well, good enough for me. Let's get out of here. You win this one. Oh, man. We just started to land hits, too. But you know what? Enough is enough. If, we, if she sinks, good. If not, then, you know, whatever. All right. Now we can actually make 12 knots. Good, 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 good. Get you guys down to cruise, I think. Well, squad max should be less than that, yeah. Okay, well, um, I don't know. Potentially a successful battle. We'll see how it all ends up. Or is anybody flooding? That's probably what I should look at. No flooding here. They're only going to be going 10. No flooding here. Wow, that's pretty substantial damage, though. They survive. I'm happy enough. Okay, yeah, go, go. So 
So what, we sank one transport, three destroyers, and wounded a, a corvette that basically otherwise kicked our butt. Not too bad though, it was, it, that's all right. The results are reasonable. Excuse me. I don't know what that was. Yes, enter the port. All right. Three and one, just as we expected. Their heavy damage, their Corvette. Heavy damage, my destroyer. Ah, Germany victory. Because we accomplished what we wanted to. They had three surviving merchants, but you know that shouldn't. It's not all of them, right? Yeah, okay, so three quarters of them, but whatever. We, we won the fight. That's, I guess that's all that matters. It's just painful because even this, you know, it's a, that's considered a major victory. Three destroyers. Uh, whatever. Yeah, and that's why we can't win this one, but whatever. I mean, we, we just, I, I don't have any choice. <laughs> just go to the very end, and if we... The blockade kills us. I, I guess this is the end of the series. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. There have been widespread demonstrations demanding peace and bread. Um, prestige up. Negotiated peace. So we're ahead on points. We could divert resources. I'm not actually so opposed to that. We have a good balance and everything. Rest is high. I think we'll just choose this top option for now. I'm 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 doing this because on rest has not changed significantly. So I think we can wait it out a little bit more before we start going crazy. Yes, we shall. Um, let's make it speed and probably even range on these guys. No, I'll do reliability. I still like that. Well, let's do toughness, speed and toughness. Gosh, the Krankenwagen. Is that a mine? Our light carrier sank an enemy submarine. They should be able to do that, honestly. Stupido bombers are probably a very big threat, ASW-wise. I don't, you know, I, I don't know why I just suddenly was, this went into my brain again. I really don't like the makeup budget mechanic. If that's a real thing, I really don't like it. I think that you want, as a player, I understand that, you know, you don't want the game to become too easy. But there's enough nations, especially with eight nations now in play, I feel like we don't need to like, you know, I, I, I feel like it's more important for the player to have a ser uh, um, a sense of progression. And it's just a funny thing that they like ignore realism on the one area where it hurts the player more. Oh God, our another, another light cruiser down. I don't think the blockade is going to, <laughs> the blockade strategy is not going to work. Now that we're losing them to the the mines. Yeah, so it's obvious, you can tell by this, that they are definitely working together as an alliance. Because we actually do outnumber even Great Britain. Or even, I guess Great Britain is very weak here. It's France that has the next highest score. So we have a higher score than France, not enough to blockade them if it was just us two. But Great Britain puts them Know, way out of fear. In fact, it puts us in them enough that, I mean, this is okay. So just to, to give you an idea, like it's 416, 407. I still don't get this man. And I, I mean, people can tell me this is just, I just feel so confident that this is the wrong system. Um, I have 400 points. They only need 440 points to 
blockade me. That just doesn't make sense. I'm sorry. That's just way too few. <laughs> like maybe 600, 50% more. Or even I would accept 500. <laughs> 20% more. 25% more, I should say. But 10% is just so small. It's just it's such an insignificant difference in ships. Anyway, I mean, we all know that blockading is way more, it's much more about, like, it's probably about ship count even more than it's about, you know, and, and how you, there should be a system of, of missions about it, kind of like the same way there's an invasion system. You should have choices or chances to break the blockade. Okay, cruiser battle here. This is absolutely insane. Why would we want to do that? We're, are we fighting that? What are we doing out there? We're blockaded. So if we're blockaded, what are we doing out there to begin with? Are we break this is where we're breaking the blockade? I don't know. Um, 800 victory points though. And the only way for us to stay ahead is by accepting. So we will accept all the things. Although it's already been 46 minutes. So I guess whatever battle we take next, we are not going to, whoa. 40 aircraft must be, where the hell would they be? It's in Jut. It's literally in Jutland. We'll definitely accept it. So that's gonna conclude this episode. I think it went better than the last one. I didn't kindly to future Tortuga establish a very low bar <laughs> on the last one. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's going on? I don't know. Okay, one second. Uh -huh. It is a pop-up that I guess, I don't know, somehow appeared behind the main thing, but here we go. We'll attack enemy ships in general. Oh no. Well, good night, Barfleur. We already know what's going to happen to you. Did I do something to cause these errors? Has anybody else playing that? Have you guys seen these errors? You now have reconnaissance aircraft at your disposal. You can control the search button for these aircraft by pressing the routine air operations button. Here you will also set the strength of any defensive fighter patrols. COP equals combat air patrol. Yeah. Oh, I know. It's painful, but I know. All right. So, yes, we. D I am going to set this. It's, uh, frankly, it's... Good that they mentioned that because I do, I really do want to set this before the battle begins. I will forget next time almost for sure. We don't have to worry about them going that distance. I'll still set it for much less than that because otherwise it's make me think that it's crazy. What the cap on light? I, I basically want to say no cap because we have no, um, I, you know what? No search. We're not searching. I'm sorry. We are immediately going to go over here, though, and select everyone and just get them all ready. Okay, how many is the limit here? I'm going to go to my... Let's just look it up. Wrong one. Okay, give me this ship. Give me these ships. What's the... It's going to tell me. It tells me 12 aircraft. <clears throat> what is it? 60%? What's the deck load? Let's go back here. <coughs> ah, okay. Five. Well, that's not a lot, is it? Okay, so let's, um, let's lower this down to five. And... I mean, can't I just ready them all? I don't know. I don't want to mess with it. Let's get you as well to five. Naval strike and ready strike. Perfect. Okay, so now we have six, which is still also too many, which is painful, but that's fine. And you, and also too many. And we'll get you to ready for a strike as well. And these last guys, we'll also get them to ready for a strike. I love how easy that was. 
Some sarcasm might have been employed there. Okay, good. So I, I'm glad that we did that because otherwise I would I would have forgotten for sure. And at least the destroyers are an AI control that's going to be a little bit more meaningful. This is a convoy defense? Good gracious. What the... F what kind of convoy did... Is, it, is Admiral Tortuga on that convoy? <laughs> what? We... <laughs> Well, wow, sir, we have a load of potatoes going out. I don't know why we're we have anything going out. We're blockaded. Or well, maybe this is it. Oh my God! Is this? Let's pretend that this is the battle generator generating a break the blockade mission. Fun, but we'll do it next time. Until then, thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care.